Odds are pretty good that you know about a car breaking that happened in your city within the last year or so. But this may actually be a first, an attempted car break in with an unexpected victim. Jessica Rank joining us now live from the police department in Hot Springs. And Jessica, when people hear about this, it's going to surprise them. Yeah, Bob, and it was certainly a surprise to me when I found out, and stories like these just go to prove that it doesn't matter who you are, what you drive, or the decals on your car, anyone can be victim to a car break-in. Sergeant Joey Williams walks the Hot Springs Police Department like he has the last 20 years. For this patrol officer, car break-ins are nothing new. Officers can become numb. To that, you know, here we are, oh, you should have locked your car, you should have done this. But this is a first. So we can be victims of crime also. Let's rewind about a week. Sergeant Williams was at home sleeping. My alarm set for 4.30 on days I work, and I woke up early. 4.23 a.m., an alert from his doorbell camera goes off. On the recording, he doesn't see a dog or a stray animal. I thought there's really no way this is happening. Instead, he sees 20-year-old Jeremiah Smith. And he tried to get into my wife's vehicle. When that didn't work, William says Smith goes to pull on his door, a patrol car. To go into my yard with my marked police car and try to get into it is a, another level of something I've never seen before in almost 22 years. William says he jumped out of bed. I wanted to catch him and ran less than six, seven seconds through my driveway. And then he's on. And by the time less than a minute, I'm out of the door. He's already been in my neighbor's car and in their second vehicle. William says after a 10 minute chase and backup, Smith was put in handcuffs with a court date set. But William says the main takeaway, there's no neighborhood that's immune from it and no cars exempt. Now, William says his and his wife's car were both locked, and he says that's believed what truly saved them in this situation. But the suspect also did rummage through those other two cars. So William says serves as a reminder that if you're at home or you're at the grocery store going out, make sure that you lock your car and take all of those valuable items with you. Live in Hot Springs, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.